if Sadhguru could go back into the past, not because of yogic powers, but if there was a time machine, and with foresight, uh, uh, with knowledge about what happened during the World War II, would Sadhguru kill baby Hitler? Is the first question that cropped up. <laughs> Would I kill the baby Hitler? <laughs> Knowing that six million Jews could be saved from your actions. <laughs> See, uh, Adolf Hitler is a consequence, is not the cause of World War II. In the sense, there has been centuries of hatred about the Jewish people. It's not… it did not suddenly crop up because of Adolf Hitler. Well, he used it politically to do all kinds of things, that's a different matter. But this hatred has been endemic in the population. Not for one or two years, for literally eighteen centuries, it's been alive. Now, Adolf Hitler became a representative of that hatred and he consolidated that hatred, organized it in such a way that it became a mega disaster. But the disaster has been unfolding for a long time. Forever people have been accusing Jews of being a Jesus killer and wanting to get them. In so many ways they've been persecuted, not in one way. Every generation has small-scale persecutions happening in various societies across the… that part of the world at least, not here. So, when Adolf Hitler came, he saw what you are accusing of Adolf Hitler is competence. Exactly. Everybody had the same hatred. He organized his hatred into a very competent, result-oriented thing. Any number of human beings have come who are as much tyrannical as Adolf Hitler. Fortunately, they were not as competent. <laughs> I don't know if he studied in IIM <laughs> because his organizing skills are extraordinary. You… you have to look at that. If only if he had organized this, not against a particular community but for the well-being of the world, what a fantastic organizer he is. So his competence is what we are talking about. Hatred was there in the society. He organized it and made it into an end result of a disastrous kind. See, in every generation there are tyrants, fortunately they're important. Fortunately, they're everywhere, don't think they're not there. Every day I'm meeting thousands of people, you should see what kind of mindsets people have. How much endemic hatred they have for somebody that they do not even know, including me. <laughs> people who have never met me, people who have not had a word with me, they have so much hatred. Say, what's the problem, you've not even seen me yet. But no, so this endemic hatred is bred in the society in the form of religion, in our society in the form of caste, creed, ideologies. See, everybody is focused on Adolf Hitler. I'm not trying to belittle what he did. He is one man, so many people cause pain to each other, but he is one man who organized human pain like nobody else. He made a machine out of it. In… in a real organized way, like an industry. He did not do killing just for killing's sake, he made a killing industry, you know, proper industry. Actually, they set up factories of death. So never before nobody organized it, but don't ever think nobody had those intentions, nobody had those same emotions, they had. But this man organized, so would you kill the baby Hitler? No, it wouldn't help because another guy maybe with competence would have come up. You never know. So, what we need to work at is, we need to work at, uh, as I was telling you, a culture of peace. This is important. We never worked at culture of peace. Only when it explodes in our face, we want it solved. Otherwise, we're just going about our business. The way we are driving on the street is violent, all right? It's not fast, it's just violent. I wish they were driving fast. If they were skilled, they would be driving fast. They're unskilled and they're violent drivers. <laughs> Violence means you… you don't mind if somebody gets hurt, isn't it? Hello? Violence need not necessarily mean I'm going to throw a projectile at you. I don't care if you get hurt, this is violence, isn't it? 
So this is all over the place. We need to see culture is not something that you can build overnight. Slogans you can build overnight. You can do anti-demonstrations overnight. You cannot build a culture overnight. It takes a lifetime of dedication to bring that about. Nobody has shown that dedication. Everybody wants immediate solution. When something explodes, everybody will scream. Once it's over, they go about their business. So it is very important, I want you to understand, Adolf Hitler's can be born just about anywhere, just about anywhere, because the culture of disliking and hating other people who are not like you is so rooted in the society, it's just a question of, he must do an MBA here <laughs> I, I'm giving compliments to the institution, it's not <laughs> <laughs> Completely get it, but the main issue over here so is that you tackle the root causes rather than manifestations of the… Yes. Exactly, so… Consequences cannot be dealt with. It is the process we need to address.